Hello everyone, my name is Sumit and once again I welcome all of you to BISP self learning video broadcast solution. Today I am going to tell you how to set up community in Salesforce. So let's understand first of all about what is a community. So basically force.com community cloud lets you directly connect to sales customers anytime and because it is built on salesforce.com so organization can create multiple communities and those communities can be accessed as required by the customers. Not only we can create communities, also we can personalize as per our requirements. Due to that, customers can search the communities quickly. Customers can not only search for the community on cloud, also they can ask the question in those communities. Communities are branded space for your employee, customers and partners to connect. You can customize and create communities to meet your business needs then transition seamlessly between them. Communities are a great way to share information and collaborate with people outside your company who are key to your business process such as customer or partners. Now what can we do with communities? So with communities we can derive our sales by connecting our employees with your distributors, resellers and suppliers. By using communities, we can deliver world-class services by giving your customers one place to get answer. So your, your customers can get all the answer at a single place on a single location. By using communities, we can manage social listening, content engagement and workflow all in one place. So we can create multiple communities within, within our organization for different purpose. So for example, let's suppose we can create a customer support community to reduce customer support cost or a channel sales community for partner deal support or you, we can have a community special, specifically dedicated to an upcoming events. So let's see how we can set up a community in Salesforce and how we can customize the community so that it can be accessed by different users of our company or our customers. So first of all let's switch to Salesforce. So as you can see here I have switched to Salesforce here. In Salesforce click on setup then click on customize and in customize we have got here communities expand it click on settings and then click on enable communities once you click on enable communities you need to specify a domain name that will be the URL or the domain name of your community so I give a domain name BISP customer or let's say BISP sales Team. So I am going to set up a community mainly for sales team or customer service team or any it depends on the requirement and then I click on check availability. It says that domain name available. Now when I try to save it I've got an error message. I'll got a message that it's a confirmation message whether we are trying to register or we are ready to register our domain or not because once we clicked on OK or once the domain has been registered we are not able to modify it or we are not we are not able to change it so I click on save okay so. so you can see community has been registered it is created successfully Your domain has been created successfully now within one domain we can have multiple communities so I clicked on new community to set up a new community here and we can have maximum number of five communities within a single registration. In this step, we can choose a template, what type of community you would like to create. So that's uh, my community, Salesforce app plus Visual Force. This is app launcher. It's a uh, Kauka. So you can see it's not available. This is also not available. So you can move your pointer or you can take your pointer on each of template and whichever is available you can choose it. So let's suppose I am going to select this particular community Salesforce tab plus Visual Force. So I click on choose and I give a name. So I give BSP Sales Community and click on create community. So this will create a community. So once the community is created we can customize it. We can add tabs into it. We can set the security level of that community so that our user can access it. So I've got a confirmation message, success message. The community has been created. So I click on go to community management to 
manage our community. So that's the community management portal. So from here we can manage our community. If you want to view our community, we can click on this view community, but it is not activated right now. So even if we try to view it, we'll get an error message. So first of all, we need to activate it. And that's the URL of our community. We can share this community. Uh, see, we can share this URL with our users. Next, we have, I'll click on administration. So first of all, I want to add members into it. So I want to set that who all are able to act, work on this community. So we have got internal chatter or portal or all. So I clicked on all and here I select. So by default, you can see only the system administrator will be able to access this community. So I select read only user, recruiter profile user, solution standard platform, standard user, work only user. It depends on your requirement, marketing user. So I add all of them. So any user who's who belongs to this specific profile, they will be able to access this community and save it. Next is tabs. We need to add tabs into the community. So by default, we have only one tab that is the chatter tab. I want to add uh, cases and contact. And if you want to show dashboards and reports, so we have dashboards and reports as well. We can use reports and dashboard community as well. And we have orders as well. We have opportunities as well. So it depends on your requirement. So they, according to a requirement, you can add your tabs. And then you can customize this as well. So let's suppose I want contact up and reports and save. So like this, we can add the tabs. Next, we have branding. So basically, what is branding? Branding is if you are using Salesforce tab plus Visual Post template as we have select that one. So we can customize the look and feel of your community in community management. So here we can change the look and feel. So for header, we can set an image or a logo of our company for to display on our community tab. So we don't have any image here. So we need to first of all, we need to upload an image and then we can add image here. Same thing. We can add a footer. We can add an HTML page will be like as a footer. Then we can set the header background. So what type of style you want to set for your header background page background. I want to set this kind of style for my head Then that will be the primary. So I select look for this primary secondary tab will be in this format territory I'll want in this specific format and save it. So that's the customization we can done on a specific community page. Then we have login and registration. So that's the header logo. So we can click on file and we can upload and logo. So we let me upload a logo. So I'll upload this logo here. So maximum will be 100 KB maximum size. Footer text will be salesforce.com. Login will be default page. Choose a login page will be default page and to external user can log in or register with BISP username and password. It means the external users if they want to log in into sales, if they want to log in into community, first of all, they need to register with BISP or this particular application on which we are creating this community. Then only they will be able to access it. And once they logged out, I will set here. It will be redirected to BISP solutions.com. So if they logged out, they will be redirected to BISP solutions.com. Okay. So that's the there is a image restriction. It will be 125 pixel maximum and 250 pixel max. So anyway, I'll go with the standard size standard. And uh, there is one more option here, registration. It says that allow external user to self-register. If if any user who is not a registered user of my community, I would like that user to register automatically by himself. It's a, it's a self register. So I check this and choose a self registration page will be a community builder page or a visual force page or a default page profile, no profile and nothing, no account and save it. So like this, if I, if any user wants to register himself on community, they can, they can register here by, by themselves. Next we have emails in emails. That's whenever a new user registered, that that's the email address so that user information or details will be sent on this particular mail ID. So these all if you forgot your password. So we have an option for community forward password email, then welcome email, send welcome email to that candidate, change password email. So these all are default settings. We have got miscellaneous section as well. Enable nickname display. 
allow access without login you want to allow users to access your community page without login so if you want to do that you can simply check this show all settings allow members to flag a content okay enable setup and display or reputation levels enable knowledgeable people on topic right so we can set different level of we can set different settings here and save it once all the settings are done we have dashboard settings so that's the dashboard if you want to display any dashboard so you can add dashboards here you can add dashboards here or topics topic management that is for topic management so i'll just state i'll just keep the default settings and i have already done the required changes and once we done with this i again click on go to setup that's the community so i'll manage it click on manage and activate it it says that activating the community makes it available to all members a welcome email is sent to members so it means uh, the members whose profile we have added so it will send a welcome email to all the users so that it says that uh, it will send an email to them and it it shows them it tell them that the community has been ready to use it is activated now and they are able to work on it now i want i would like to check well how the community page look likes so i click on view community and it will redirect it to me to the community page so you can see that's the community page here we have account contact cases and reports if i would like to show if i would like to share some information with my users or my all the all other users i can send a message here let's say meeting is at 5 pm and i'll share it so all the followers all those all those who are follower to me they can access this they will get this message and they can like it they can share it they can comment on this i can share files with my with my subordinates or all the users of this community if i would like to add a log or new opportunities i can add it i can post a question from here i can add a link i can share links same if i would like to register a case i can click on cases and i can see all the cases from here so they can directly they can directly send in messages to each other by using this community pages and because i am the owner i am the administrator so i will able to log in into this but if any non log non registered non registered user they that user can also access this community page so that's a specific community page which we can use to share information or share details with other users or to a specific group of people that's about community that's how we can set up a community and if we want to customize it again we can go to its settings we can manage it we can customize it and again we can do the required changes so that's all in this video if you have any questions you can visit our website www.bispsolutions.com or you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on sales force Have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.